I want to speak about something and it is going to make sense to you and I want this to open your eyes as well. I am not making this video to entertain. I am making this video to inform you so you can stop playing around with things like this. Because things that seem harmless are the same things that are preventing you to obtain a relationship with God. So let me say this. I am very interested in the medieval times. I am interested about the, I guess the medieval aristocracy, kings, queens, dukes, lords, archdukes, archdukes, ah, I don't know all the names to it, but I am interested in things like that. So back in 2016, I would watch movies on Netflix and I would search out pretty much movies about the medieval times or movies on the aristocracy either in England, Ireland, anywhere really. So I was watching this movie here, The Last Kingdom. Excellent plot, very good plot. And I was drawn in by the plot. And the way that things go, and what I have noticed as well, what Satan does, especially when it comes down to TVs or TV series, he is going to make a TV series have a very good plot. And what he does then is put in nude scenes and sex scenes and cursing and witchcraft and all this stuff here. So this TV series started off really well, great. And as the episodes progressed, it got more evil and evil and evil, witchcraft and all this other stuff. But I was like, you know, I don't like seeing that stuff, but this TV series has a really good plot in whatever. I am going to watch it. I got tired and I went to sleep and this TV series was playing while I was sleeping. I woke up after, I don't know how long I was asleep. I woke up and all around my room, I felt a very thick, strong, tangible, evil presence in my room. And I usually don't feel demonic presence, a demonic presence this strong. Every so often, but not really often. And when I woke up, I had to use the bathroom. So as I opened my door, boom, I felt or I could pinpoint where that entity was. Like it was right in front of my door. And <laughs> I was like, whatever. So I walked through my doorway 
and I could feel its essence pass by me or on. You know when it is windy outside, you know how you can feel the wind brush against your skin and stuff like that. That is kind of what I felt. So I went to the bathroom and I could feel that demon following me. And I am thinking, no, this is not going to continue. So I repented of my sins. I was like, God, God, please forgive me of all my sins. So I took authority over that demon that I could sense so strongly, my Lord. I was like, demons, I bind and cast you out right now. And I forget how many times I said that. But within five or 10 minutes, I could not feel that incredible strong presence. My Lord, very strong. When you watch movies like this, or movies that don't pertain to God, you have to know that you are opening a demonic doorway for demons to come in your home, to mess with your stuff, to mess with your life. This movie seemed harmless. Watching Harry Potter and The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and all of that stuff there seems harmless. It is a demonic trap. You have to stay away from stuff like this. Let me tell you this other story. I was over my brother's house, my brother's apartment, around this time period, or this other time period. And around that time, I was being tested so hard. And I was thinking, since I am having all these evil dreams and all this other stuff happening to me, let me just watch what I want to watch. So I was watching this anime, this really demonic anime, and you may know what it is. It is called Knights of Sidonia, S-I-D-O-N-I-A, I believe. And that anime was really entertaining, but as the episodes went on, it got really demonic, man. Like, so demonic. I was shocked. Yes, and I was watching Attack on Titan, which is very demonic too, but entertaining at the same time. So I went to sleep. Why is it always when I go to sleep? <laughs> I went to sleep and let me say this, when you dream, your dreams are not dreams. The closer I get to God, I notice that so keenly now. Your dreams are not dreams at all. Anyways, I went to sleep and I was on my brother's bed. And someone came toward my bed and I was thinking that my brother was, you know, playing around or something like that. So I opened my eyes and I seen this person wearing a gray hoodie. Like the hood was over its head, but I could not see its face. Okay, the hood was over its head and like this part here was all the way up here. Like, it was really weird. I don't believe that demon had a head. And I was thinking, what is going on? Like, hey, who was this person? And 
that demon was acting in a very excited way, jumping up and down, twisting his arms around. And this demon had this shower head thing. I don't know what you call it. This shower head and then there's like a cord, like a three foot cord. And he had that cord part out. So this demon drew back his arm all the way back. And it was acting like it was going to hit me as hard as it could. So this demon was like, and right when it was like this close from hitting me, I woke up. I thought that if that thing would have hit me, that thing would have, my Lord, man, this thing like drew all the way back as if it was going to kill me or something. Anyways, I woke up. And let me see.